Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Marketing by John. Today we're going to talk about the most efficient way to grow your small business. I've uh, really been trying to niche down to really detailed topics on this show, but this one is a topic that anyone, everyone can be benefit from um, and is still one of the most important sort of processes if you're looking how to grow your business, you're looking into how to grow your business. Um, and, and I believe that because you're so distracted by all the different things, if you're a small business owner, all the things you have to do, an employee leaves, you have to go do the things that they were doing as an owner. If you haven't hit scale yet, where you have enough team members and enough processes to fill in the gaps when somebody leaves or an account leaves or something like that, you have to fill in the gaps as an owner. So I wanted to, I wanted to bring to light the most important things to stay focused on when you're stuck in the tornado of growing a small business. And it's, it's really simple in concept. It's really hard to do in practice because of the swirling things flying around in that, that funnel of a tornado, but it's really simple in concept. You need to understand the things that grow your business are going to be mostly you at the beginning. It's mostly about you. People aren't going to do business with your business because of the business. They're going to do business with you when you're small. So that's the first thing is understand that people aren't doing business with your product or your service. They're doing business with you. We have a, a wonderful woman that comes over and cleans our house. We don't do that because the house is clean, although it is. We do business with her because we like her personality. We know her story. We want to support her family. Uh, and she's good at what she does. But it starts with her. I do business with my accountants because I know them. I do business with my, my attorney because I like them. They provide a service that anybody else can provide, but I pick them because of that, because of them. When we started, Lindsay and I started to grow Jackson Jovi, people didn't do business with us. They didn't buy our jeans because they loved the jeans. They liked the jeans, but they met us and they loved us. And those two things together made it so that they purchased the jeans and it made it so that they would tell their friends when they needed jeans to go buy the jeans. We'll, we'll touch on that in a moment. So first you need to understand that people are doing business with you. So you need to make sure you're treating people right. You're empathetic, you're kind, you're helpful, you're, you're valuable, whether, you're, whether, whether it's a product or your service, okay? That's step one. Step number two, uh, yes, you need product quality, but you need, to, you, you need customer service more than that. So if your product isn't at premium quality for whatever reason, it's okay as long as you price appropriately and you give above and beyond customer service. Again, this is when you're small. What you can give is your time and your personality and bringing value to all of your customers or prospective customers that you can. Add value if they're not sure if they want to do business with you. Try to add uh, uh, some extra perks and some added value. Uh, we included t-shirts into our jean packages as a surprise and delight when we were first growing Jackson Jovi so that they would, they would feel good. They got more than they paid for. So, uh, the second thing is to make sure you're over delivering on value and customer service because it's something that anybody can do. It doesn't require very many tangible things. It just requires your effort and your kindness and your communication. So over deliver on your value and your customer service. Next, understand that social proof is the strongest way to grow your business. Word of mouth. It's been around forever. If you do something good uh, and, and people enjoyed the interaction with you, then they're going to tell more people when the instance comes up, when somebody's asking, hey, you know, I need a pair of jeans or whatever, right? So understand that social proof is probably, if not the strongest possible way for you to grow your business. So make sure you're putting your efforts into that. Don't spend money on advertising, on billboards and Facebook ads and anywhere else before you figured out how to generate free organic social proof. Ask people for reviews, ask them to leave Google reviews, ask them if they have anybody in their circle that would benefit from 
from your services or your products. Do all of that stuff that's been around for ages, forever, because it is still the strongest way to grow your business, okay? So let's recap here. Number one, understand that you are your, are your business, you, your personality. So make sure you're bringing your A game anytime you're interacting uh, with your customers or your audience. Number two, make sure that you uh, over deliver on value and customer service. And number three, understand that social proof, other people talking positively about your brand is the strongest way, is the strongest way to market your brand and grow your brand. Reg regardless of whether you're a plumber, a carpenter, uh, you, uh, you're a clothing manufacturer, uh, you make a microphones, it doesn't matter though. The, the social proof that you, uh, are a good purchase is the way that you're going to grow your brand. So those are your top three things you need to focus on as a small business owner. Okay. As you start to grow, we will add things to that. But focusing on those three things are going to give you a great, great, great start. If you found this helpful, make sure you leave a good review. If you're listening to this on Apple Podcasts or Google Play, and if you're watching this, hit the thumbs up below. Tell people you love this video. We'll see you next time. What am I, a cowboy? Ma'am?